scientists looked at how they could deliver this normal cystic fibrosis gene into the airways of people with cystic fibrosis and they looked at two main different techniques in the states um, the groups the scientists and the clinicians look mainly at using what we call a viral vector which is a essentially a virus that has been attenuated that means it's been genetically altered to make it non-infective so it doesn't cause any disease but into that virus they've inserted the cystic fibrosis gene and if you like the virus then carries the cystic fibrosis gene into the respiratory cells of the human subject which is something the viruses are very good at doing uh, and then delivers the, 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 the cystic fibrosis gene the normal cystic fibrosis gene to the airway cell where it can then uh, produce the cystic fibrosis protein and correct the self-transporting defect. Now that research was done in the 1990s uh, towards the end of the 1990s there were some um, concerns about using viruses in uh, the delivery of genes to cells and and many of the groups in the in the states discontinued their their programs of, of, of gene therapy research in cystic fibrosis 